Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Fern. In today's video, we're going to be going over this awesome looking kit. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Donner DDS 1000. This is a five piece acrylic kit. Comes with 10 inch rack tom, 12 inch rack tom, 16 inch floor, a 14 by five and a half snare, and a 22 inch kick drum. I've reviewed Donner kits in the past, and uh, well, here, I'll just let you guys check it out in the mix. So now that you guys have heard how the kit sounds, I wanted to go over a little bit of the details. This is a five-piece acrylic kit. Also comes with two boom stands, hi-hat stand, kick drum pedal, drone, a pair of sticks, as well as hi-hats, a crash, and a ride. Basically, everything that you need to get started as a drummer. This kit sits right at around $1,200. Uh, it's $1,199 uh, on their website, which to me struck me as a really good deal. I know $1,200 is a lot of money, and especially in the intermediate world of drum sets nowadays, you can get a lot of really good shell packs for uh, right around the same price point. The kicker is that when you're in the market for an acrylic kit, there's only really a handful of options from all of the big player companies. But the interesting thing to me is that I know that all of these companies get their shells from the same source. So when you buy a DW or you buy a Pearl, when you buy a Donner, you're getting the same shell no matter of who you're buying it from. The only difference is hardware and what brand are you going to rock on it. But in essence, if you get a great set of acrylic shells and the bearing edges are solid and the hardware stays in tune and holds your kit correctly, why would you scoff at something that's, say, half the price? Especially at this price point. I think it's very viable for someone who wants to get into acrylic kits. So from the factory, they come with these tube style lugs, which to me looks pretty good. I had an old pearl snare that had some lugs kind of like this longer form ones on the snare drum. I think they just look kind of cool. And kudos to Donner because they actually provided adequate sealing on both sides. So there's actually a rubber washer on all hardware components to separate it a little bit from the shell. Hardware itself is what I would expect for like an intermediate level drum kit. Like it's not the highest quality. Obviously they have to justify the price point at which this sits at. So you're going to expect to give away some conveniences. But to be honest with this drum kit, there's not many. So whether you're in the market for a secondary kit or your first kit, you might want to consider this drum set because honestly, it, it sounds pretty good. It feels good to play. And that says a lot, especially considering that the heads that come on this are not great heads. So I know that the shells are doing a lot of the heavy lifting. I did tune up the kit a little bit to the best of my abilities. And these batter heads are pretty thick. So they dampen a lot of the resonance of these toms. But really with acrylic kits, you're just looking for a lot of attack and volume. And these definitely deliver in that aspect. And compared to my buddy Riley's kit, he also has a DW acrylic that he brings in here quite often. And they sound very similar to one another. It's hard for me to tell right now how everything is going to hold up long term, obviously. This is my first impression of it and under the microphones. But I'm really blown away with how good it sounds and tuned up pretty easily. Like, the snare drum, yeah, it, it's a little ringy out of the box, but with a little bit of tuning and just a little bit of muffling, this thing sounds pretty fat, and I really like the way it sits in the mix and in the song. The 
Toms are very short and fat with these head combos. But I think if you just slapped on some Remo pinstripes or some Emperors, I think you could get these shells to really sing while also sounding like you're removing a sheath from them. Because right now they sound a little bit muffled and dark because of these pretty lackluster drum heads. My only complaint was that one of the bearing edges was just a little bit dirty. It just had like a little bit caked up residuals from the packing material. But that's easily cleaned off and there's no damage or anything to the bearing edge. As far as the tom mounting system, this is my one area of concern. They seem to hold up the toms pretty well, but they only have like a very thin little rubber that secures this to the hoop providing pressure down on the bracket. So you could in theory loosen this up or through just playing these might loosen up and you might run into some issues where your toms are like free floating. Some aspects of this kit are very high quality and then other aspects of this kit leave a little to be desired. But I think that those are the sacrifices that you make when you're putting a drum kit in this price point. Sound wise and feel wise, it's pretty fun to play. I love the look of a clear kit. Some of the minor issues like the brackets coming loose or uh, slight hardware issues. I think that's only a thing that time will tell and especially given how heavily you plan on using this drum kit. So if, if this is going to be like a road warrior kind of beater kit that you just take out every weekend for shows or something, then you might just have to keep an extra eye on some of the more fragile hardware components. But if you're not wanting to lug around an expensive drum kit and you need something that sounds pretty good and want that cool acrylic look, I think this is definitely a viable option. And something that you might consider. Does it suck? No. Nah. I think it's a pretty solid buy for the price, especially considering it comes as a complete kit. But what do you guys think? After hearing it both in context of a song and by itself, what are your guys' thoughts on the kit? Uh, please let me know down in the comments if you like this video and want to see more stuff like this. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Mwah.